Tonight, after building the football program from the ground up, head coach Joey Jones says he's stepping down at South Alabama, a decision not exactly surprising after Saturday's game against Georgia Southern. We have team coverage tonight. We begin with sports director Lance Crawford. Lance. Guys, you know, while the timing might be a little awkward, the decision for Coach Jones to step down shouldn't be looked upon as a total surprise. There is no doubt he had pressure on him from above. He was in the final year of his contract. That is highly unusual for a head football coach, especially in a Division I level, to not have an extension and be a lame duck coach, so to speak, because obviously other schools can use that against you in the recruiting wars. And the season, frankly, has not gone as planned. They were the preseason number four pick in the conference, but they're now currently just three and four in Sunbelt Conference play and coming off a disastrous 52 to nothing loss at Georgia Southern on Saturday. Georgia Southern previously had not won a game all season long. Now, Joey Jones nor his players talked today to the media. However, Jags athletic director Joel Erdman did, and he talked about how the coach came to this decision. I imagine the decision was not taken lightly, but if you examine the, the decision and his words within the press release, I think you, you can very clearly see the decision was based on what is the best for the program at this time, which speaks volumes about him as a man and a leader. All right, this is uncharted uh, territory for South Alabama. They are now looking for a head football coach for just the second time in their history. Dr. Erdman said that search is underway. Reporting at South Alabama, Lance Crawford, NBC 15 News. Lance, thank you. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey is also on the campus of South Alabama tonight. Muriel, some of the students you spoke with today say Coach Jones' announcement really not much of a surprise. That's right, Greg. I spoke with several students. Those who knew about it said it wasn't a surprise. And then when I actually broke the news to them, they said they still weren't that surprised. They say uh, Saturday's game against Georgia Southern not getting any points on the board just not, just wasn't a good thing. And they actually believe that that has something to do with the coach resigning. Um, I think it's been a long time coming. Um, I think there's something more behind the resignation than him just resigning. I don't think it was exactly his choice, but never know. Um, I'm excited to see who the new coaching staff will be and hopefully have a successful season next football season. It's not a big shock to me because I knew it was going to happen because we haven't really gone that far this year. But, I mean, we beat Troy, so that's really all that matters to me. <laughs> And we are expecting to hear from uh, Coach Jones and some of those football team players tomorrow afternoon after practice. And students say they kind of be happy to see what the uh, football players actually have to say about this as well. For now, reporting live on USA's campus, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News. Muriel, thanks. Now, this story is still developing and will continue to develop as the search for a new head coach moves forward. For all our coverage, stay with NBC 15 News. You can go to our website, mynbc15.com as well as our social media sites.